What's up, what's up guys? It's your boy Iron Josh, and in this video, we're gonna cover Malik. In my opinion, he's one of the best defensive poison units you're gonna find. He's a legendary. I know I don't normally do these hero spotlights on legendary units, but this guy is in my goblins team right now. He, he's a beast. I'm also using him in the arena. Let me just show you what's going on with him so far and why I think he's got uh, potential for the future. Come on, let's jump in. First and foremost, he's a Valley Minotaur, he's a warrior, and he's true neutral. Now, from the looks of him, he does not look true neutral. And as you read the first two parts of his story, he has the uh, biography of somebody who you really don't want to mess with. And like, he's got this whole entourage of, you know, backdrop behind him and all of his relatives guarding the uh, mazes and the knowledge of the veil. So he's like a big, bodyguard for knowledge which is crazy because he's got this head in his hand that's just bleeding consistently and it's like gnarly right now he's so good at his job literally they say in all of the history of of what he's been doing and proceeding to guard this prison only one person has been able to leave that uh that prison and so it was a red-haired mage i'm sure you guys can figure out who it is but yeah he is just like a crazy jailer who people just do not want to mess with based on his history and everything he's brought to the table since then now malik has some pretty cool skills although i'm not taking full advantage of him in the arena because i do want to build my summoners team however we are using him for the first couple levels of the arena until i can build my summoners team so we are uh, taking some kind of part with the Grand Gladiator Arena Battles, 45% defense, aura. Um, now he's got a passive that when he gets control or ultimate down, he snaps out of it. He's like the anti-hero. He gains 15% ultimate energy and heals by 10% of his max HP. It can only happen once every two seconds. Also, if he fails to resist control or ultimate down, there's a 40% chance to nullify those effects. So basically whenever a superhero is getting beat up, you know, and you think that they're at their last bit of strength before they're about to, you know, kick it, they come back, right? Like somehow they find the inner strength. That's Malik. Like I was going to try and pinpoint this guy as like an OG, but he's really just like an anti-hero. Like you can't, like just when you think he's down and out, he's like, blah, and just busts out. Yeah, I don't know what that sound effect was. I probably won't do too many more sound effects, but I had my coffee, it's kicking in. Let's, you know, focus on the guy, Josh. All right, so anyway, his eternal existence battle skill, right? Deals 240% attack, 6% max HP poison damage to the enemy, and heals him by 12.5% of his max HP. The healing is doubled if the enemy is inflicted with a debuff. This is crazy. So like you basically just give him as much HP as possible and just build him the biggest tank you could possibly do. And like you have so many items that just give you HP that are probably just laying around that you don't ever use. And you're like, man, I really wish I had a tank. I could put all this HP stuff on. Well, guys like this are who's waiting for that equipment. That's why I love this guy. And for his ultimate bone gnawing prison, he dispels all control from all allies and grants them control immunity for 10 seconds. So when you're in the dungeons, when you're getting beat up in the arena and you guys are just under control, like it's insane. Like boom, gone, wiped. It's one of the best clearing. It's one of the best, uh, you know, control immunity. Uh, it's one of the best cleanses that you're gonna find in a hero. Not to mention he's gonna deal 420% attack damage, but when you hear this 14% max HP poison damage to enemies within a range with a 75% chance of inflicting attack penalty too. So think about this, you're giving your guys control immunity for 10 seconds, which means like all that stuff, all those debuffs that you hate, they're not gonna be able to be happening. How often does a Grand Gladiator or an arena debuff uh, sequence last? Like there may be 20 seconds to 30 seconds tops. So 10 seconds of that is completely control immune? Come on, that's like, that's just really freaking good. So that's why I feel like he's so strong for some of the arena stuff. If you're building a poison team and you have this guy in your in your benches, take him out of your bench because he is really just, he's an OG. He's an OG, he's the anti-hero. I'm gonna show you what he does for my goblins team just because I'm not really, I'm like rank 120 in the arena right now, we're moving up, but you know, we just got into like day four of season two, so there's not a lot going on. But uh, yeah, let's jump in. I'll show you guys how I'm running the goblins with this guy. Okay, so as far as the timing goes for this team, 
Um, we're going to use Iola, who's going to have a defense break, and then we're going to have Letalis do some damage after that, and then Sigurd's going to fire. That should clear the first wave. The second wave should be cleared by Malak and Irina, and then we just have skill casting default. But here's the cool thing about Malak, right? He does attack penalty too, which you guys know if you have Sigrid, uh, which everybody has Sigrid, you're going to be using her uh, battle skill and her ultimate, which, you know, she'll hit more people that have debuffs. And then every time somebody dies, she actually gets more ultimate energy, right? So with Malik applying a debuff to everybody, attack penalty too, it works really good with Sigrid in this team. Now, watch when he's behind, because he actually does lose a step behind everybody, but then it's like wave three, he'll use his ult, and it'll come up, and it'll hit the entire wave. It's really, really cool to see him in action, uh, and literally one of the easiest champs that you can build, because, I mean, everybody has a ton of HP gear that's just sitting in your uh, bank at all time, because, like, we, we love HP gear, like, but, you know, to have a guy who actually works with HP gear, right there, boom, look at that, he does nice damage, and then he's not, like, all the way leveled up, you know, so he's gonna do more, he doesn't have that great a gear, it'll scale with uh, the game, right? So we're in day like four of uh, season two, or maybe day five of season two. So I haven't. You, it stops you. I would have had him like level one hundred by now. But um, you know, we're we're basically just crushing right here. Look, watch. See, he, see, it goes all the way up and hits everybody, and then boom, Sigurd just comes in and wipes everybody out. It leaves everybody open. She's already up and ready to go. He's moving forward, and this team like is probably what I'll be using for a lot of the goblins runs, as long as I can just keep it fine tuned and running it the way it does. So look, Malik is super easy to build. He works phenomenally and does amazing damage. He gives your team control immunity. He, he's like he's one of the best anti-heroes in the game that you can possibly get for yourselves. So once again, if you pulled Malik, like build him. He's really fun. And guys, I am so happy that I picked him out of all my legendaries to put in this team or even like units to put in this team. Now, if you're looking at this from a spec standard point of, I don't have Malik, like who would I run in goblins? Well, just use one of your other tanks, you know, that you could possibly put in there, like a shag roll or something like that. And you'll still be clearing fine. Cause that's who I was using before I found Malik and just did a little test with him and, and basically became BFFs. So, you know, aside from the meaty head he's carrying around, he seems like a pretty cool minotaur. Anyways, guys, that's the hero recap for Malik. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.